this is uh, Sean just checking in on Project Nano and um, I just filmed an update on Project Pico and Project Pico has crashed so um, on Project Nano I did notice some uh, bloom I haven't done a water test on this aquarium yet but I did notice um, a huge diatome bloom that's formed on the glass I've been away for five days um, the heater in this aquarium is the cobalt neotherm and it has a proper thermostat on it so um, I believe the the water temperature um, has remained uh, constant even though we had some um, unseasonably warm weather here in the East Coast so um, the aquariums are stable uh, other than the diatome bloom which is not a big deal it's just a sign of cycling the um, Corals are in different shape, so I'm not sure um, what the condition of the water is yet. So I will do a water test uh, before I upload this video um, just to, to see where everything is. Um, again, this is a uh, tank that I'd asked my uh, roommate to feed while I was gone. And, you know, there seems to be some, you know, leftover food around. Um, coral banded or banded coral shrimp um, seems to be okay. The uh, clowns seem to be okay. And the water temperature in this one seems to be okay. So um, I'd say overall this aquarium is looking good. Um, just need to check the water parameters to see um, where to go from here. Um, I believe this, this tank is okay. I've got some uh, coral in different areas. And uh, for the most part, everything's holding up. So, I will append to this video once I have uh, parameters on um, the water conditions. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay, this is an update on the parameters on Project Nano. So as stated before, uh, the condition of the aquarium is uh, showing some diatome bloom. The GSPs are staying closed right now. They haven't been open since I've been back uh, from my trip. Uh, there's some algae growth on the sand in that corner. And I believe that's where a lot of food is coming in. So um, I think this tank might have been a little overfed. water parameters so right now the pH level is 8.0 to 7.8 thereabouts um, ammonia is pretty high ammonia I'd say is probably 1 ppm maybe 1.5 ppm I'd say 1 is, is, a, is a good number so nitrite is about 0.5 to 1 thereabouts and nitrate is sitting right around I'd say 10 to 20 I'd say about 10 you can see a comparison of the ammonia there it looks to me like 1.0 again nitrite is a good 0.5 to 1.0 nitrate I'd go 10 to 20, 15 maybe, which is consistent to where it's been before. So uh, pH is a little low, ammonia is a little high, nitrite's a little high, and nitrate is reasonably in the middle level right now. So my remedy for these will be to um, do a water change. One of the clowns 
does look a little stressed so I'm probably gonna move him and the other to another aquarium and um, there's a bunch of copepods living in this aquarium as with the other one so the copepods seem to be doing very well in, in both project Pico as well as project nano uh, but um, if you also watch my project Pico videos uh, you'll know that it crashed uh, while I was out of town so this one is still uh, stable uh, temperature is where it's supposed to be I stuck a uh, digital temperature just to make sure uh, the temperature is right it's at 78.7 78.7 uh, which is consistent with what I have the uh, cobalt neotherm set at so if I could take anything away from this I would say that the heater that you have in the um, the smaller aquariums is huge um, because I had the 15 watt Acumion in Project Pico and that's what I pulled out of there and the temperature was almost 86 degrees when I came home uh, from my trip and um, as I mentioned before it's been unseasonably warm in the Northeast it's been in the 70s here in February so um, that's probably an explanation of, of what happened um, with Project Pico and um, you know Project Nano has stayed more consistent with with the proper heater so um, I spent about 35 38 bucks on the uh, cobalt neotherm and I will do the same to get a proper heater for Project Pico uh, going forward as well as Project Natural will also have a cobalt neotherm I'm very impressed um, thoroughly impressed with that heater so that's it, um, Sean signing out for now, and uh, check back in a day or two to see uh, where everything is uh, after I do a water change or two. Uh, thank you for watching my video, and uh, please subscribe.